everyone and welcome to your February 2018 reading and um, happy February, happy February 2018. <laughs> so this month is going to be for you all about wanting to get your self-value and self-esteem right. It's going to be a really big focus for you wanting to get it sorted out, wanting to allow yourself to receive what you deserve to ask for what you want, ask for what you know you are worth, and to stop unconsciously sabotaging uh, yourself in the area of finances, of value, um, and just really making it work, laying foundations for the future, um, releasing the fear of intimacy, um, and not putting that off anymore. So it's as if you're wanting to stop neglecting yourself start valuing yourself and asking for what you want and then from that place of strength allowing yourself to let in the type of intimate connection that will make you continue will not diminish your value in any way i hope that makes sense because that's the feeling of it and it feels very powerful because everything feels very powerful this february and um, i want you to focus on that for the month that this is a time when you can actually make those changes, when you can get very serious about all of those things, I've just been told to stop, and you can actually increase what you receive in both of those areas. You're gonna let go of connections and the kind of intimacy that doesn't serve you. You're gonna uh, put good boundaries in place so that you can move forward with your life in a productive way and lay down those foundations. And at the same time, in doing that, you will, at some point this year, open up again to the right sort of connections. Okay, so, let's do the first week, the second week, the third and the fourth week of February 2018. And we are going to do the same with the Archangel Oracle. Okay, so in the first week, you're going to be thinking possibly about something in the past that you had to let go of, something that didn't quite work out, and but you are going to start seeing the blessing of it. It feels as if there is a heart there that's healing. It could still be a little bit sore. It could still feel as if you're trying to understand it, trying to make sense of it, trying to, you know, like you'll say, how could I have let that happen? There's a sense of that. How could I have... Don't tell yourself off. It's all just learning. It's all just learning and growing. And it's all a part of that thing of the boundaries, learning about boundaries, learning to value yourself again, learning to not let these things become a burden, but to see them as the lessons that they are. Take the lesson and leave behind the trauma and just and let yourself do the healing. Just be really gentle and loving towards yourself and allow yourself to heal, allow your heart to heal because from this healing there is going to come a new platform of self-love and self-valuing when you start to allow yourself to receive everything that you deserve in life and that is not just on the material plane but also emotionally. You are in a big transition so just you know look back on that but don't dwell don't stay there forever you know maybe that is just the first week don't get stuck there because your career is transitioning your view of life is changing and you know everything that's happening in your life in this month in you know in that week everything the way that you're seeing things in that week is kind of like a, a pivot a pivotal change that's going to take you through possibly the rest of the year depending on what you decide how you decide to deal with the heartache and loss and the level of excitement you allow yourself to have over the career transitions okay that are definitely coming that are definitely on the horizon don't get hung up on the timing of this as i say this could go across the whole month it could roll out along the whole year that you'll be in this process so the second week um, 
So you're going to be looking at your life purpose the first week. You're going to be looking at letting go of emotion, emotional hurt so you can fully come into your purpose and you can fully allow yourself to be yourself. And then you've got transformation in the second week. So it's like, you know, and life review as well. So it's like whatever this heartache, this loss is, it's, re it's almost like a spiritual awakening. It's made you, it's thrown everything up into the air, up, in, up for questioning, everything. It's like, now, I've, now I need to do this. Now I need to make sure I'm really fulfilling my purpose. Now I really need to know what I'm about. What is my life about? Why am I here? Who am I? You know, who am I? What am I? Where am I going? What can I do? What, you know, what is the highest level of experience that I can bring to this planet? The highest level of expression that I can bring and the highest expression of myself that I can become. So you're free to do all of that now when you release the past, release the pain of the past, embrace this career transition, embrace any new thoughts about life purpose and allow yourself to go on this journey of transformation. Um, and so this is the first couple of weeks of February. That's an awful lot, isn't it, for the first two weeks of February. So remember, the first uh, February is setting the tone potentially for quite a few months to come. But this is the turning point for you. So in the third week, when you, you, you look at all of this, you're going to come into a place where you have the beginnings of love. This could be a very deep, deep sense of self-love. For some, it will be love, it will be a new partner coming on the horizon, and it will be someone who comes out of um, this place where you feel differently about yourself. So it could be very positive, a very positive new beginning. It's not tied to that week, it could be sometime in February, it could be sometime this year. But sometime in that third week, there is this sense of love, of being in the presence of love of love within yourself, of reawakening to the possibilities inherent in loving connections, and so which will prove to you that you really have let go of whatever that heartache and loss was. Those of you who are in a bond that's working, that's beautiful, that's loving, is it's going to feel even more loving in that week. It's going to just feel wonderful. It's going to feel really special. So not everyone is going through a heartbreak and not everyone is looking for a relationship. So for those who aren't looking, it's a time to fill your cup with self-love. And for some, it will be through your creative and artistic expression. It could be writing, it could be some other form of creativity. It could be that you start journaling about where you've been in love and what you can change and where you want to go in the future. It could be that you start planning and strategizing or dreaming um, about your career transition. It could be that your career transition does involve doing some writing. You know, you might be a writer, you might be committing to being a writer, you might get a writing position, you might start blogging you might get published you know any or you might decide to self-publish um, any number of things to do with that but it seems there is a strong connection between love and self-love and self-expression so that's a lovely third week just bear all of that in mind and by the time you get to to the end of February and going into March and looking towards the end of the year where will you be balance feeling much more balanced feeling much happier within yourself, right, okay, so for some of you it will be that you acknowledge that you have a gift, you have a gift that you haven't been exploring and that's what this career transition needs to be about, because by the time you get to the end of the month, you are feeling very grateful for the gifts that you have and that is allowing you to feel a greater sense of balance, so for you a lot of your balance, you're going to go on quite a big journey um, in February and it could be just it could be that you've always known that you're a writer or you're already doing this and um, it's what you do but you've just been thrown off balance a little bit late lately and you get that you start to come to terms with that in the first week and re-establish your balance and make any transitions in your career like add new things or work in a slightly different way or work in partnership with someone or whatever that is you start thinking about transitions and for some it will be a complete change into something more creative like writing um but by the time you get to the end of the month you're going to feel much more balanced than 
the way you started it. So take heart if there is any kind of upset in the first week. This is just a transition and it's not just a career transition, it's a life transition and it is going to flow into a beautiful sense of balance and gratitude and appreciation for everything that you've been through and all the gifts that you've developed. And I feel as if I want to shuffle again, I want to ask what is the overarching theme for Capricorn in February? What do they need to remember? <laughs> Remember who you are. You are a divine creator. You are a divine being who is here to fulfill a divine purpose, to fulfill a great purpose that involves much more than, um, you know, being dragged by, down by uh, small passing currents and waves. Learn to ride the waves more, put them all down to experience and let them enrich everything that you do and everything that you offer rather than pulling you off or making you doubt or question yourself. You know, don't allow them to pull you off course. Um, don't allow them to pull you off course or to pull your focus away because it's going to be quite an amazing year. Lots of new things to come in. New adventures. Possibly new partnerships um, to do with work, to do with career. And definitely the possibility of a love that just makes all of this other stuff, uh, just puts it into perspective, you know. And the reason that I'm not dwelling on this now is because I feel that it could be February, but it could be later on in the year. It could just be that you open your heart again in the third week of February. But that is what sets the tone for that possibility of the big love of your life coming in and as I say if you're already in a partnership you will get a greater sense of appreciation of that love and that you know um, partnership if you express yourself creatively and feel more whole within your individual being um, yeah I hope that helps I hope that um, yeah is meaningful to you and resonates with you let me know and thank you so much for coming to listen and for all your lovely comments and likes and appreciation and um, if you want to book a reading with me I'll leave a link below the video take care I may speak to you again soon <laughs>